Hello all, uh, welcome and uh, thank you for joining uh, our Amazon QuickSight learning series, Better Together. And uh, for the session today, we will be focusing on QuickSight plus Amazon Event Bridge. And let's take a look into the topic today. So we had an initial release of uh, Event Bridge integration um, back in Jan, and uh, there is a video available for the first part of uh, the events that has been released, where uh, it covers the dashboard analysis and folder and VPC connections. And uh, for the session today, we'll be focusing more on uh, the data set and data sources, which are the two new event patterns that has been added uh, for the Event Bridge integration. So first and foremost, uh, with this direct events emitted to Event Bridge, we can build an end-to-end um, -end pipeline where use cases like for the automated deployment, automated backups, CICD, for the near real-time scenarios where the dashboards, data sets, data source, or any assets that you have created in your lower environments, like in the production or to move to the QA, sorry, in, in development or to the QA and then migrate them to the production, you can do now everything in an automated fashion. So before this event bridge integration, we had certain events being ingested through CloudTrail logs, whereas it has certain limitations or the delay in time where the events gets ingested and can be used, or the mechanisms we were recommending was to put into specific folder, scan through that folder and migrate them on a periodic basis, uh, like a batch process to migrate those contents from one environment to another. So the key advantage of this is like it has a real time ingestion flowing into the event bridge logs or the cloud logs and from where that can trigger uh, the Lambda function and we can scan through how the data, uh, how the data sets are created or data source created and from that we can migrate them to the different environments. Okay, and so on the left, you can see the events that are being released as part of the initial release where you can see the dashboard analysis, VPC connection and folders, which are already available with the, all the actions like create, update and publish. And certain events like uh, quick set dashboard update failed or error scenarios, whereas other things or successful conditions, update versions, all that can be used for the content migration too. And then coming to on the right, the new events that has been recently added to the set of uh, uh, event logs, one is for the data set, where you can see create, update, and delete action with the event detail type of quick set data set created, data set updated, or deleted. And same for the data sources. We have the parameters, uh, the actions like create, update, and delete actions, where one of the create actions is for the error indication of failed scenario, and uh, update is same, where the data source update failed. Okay, and for the session today, we are going to mainly focus on the data set as an example, how we can um, uh, use the event bridge integration to monitor these particular events with the detail type and how we can trigger the Lambda function to migrate those specific assets into your target environment. <clears throat> Coming to the event bridge pattern, this is the default pattern that we can use for all the QuickSight actions. So the pattern here, you can see the service aws.quicksight that will be act as a source uh, service. And detail type anything but AWS service events via cloud trial or via a call on API. So what uh, it means is like we are just trying to um, exclude anything from the cloud trial or the API calls and just focus on the actions that is made from the UI console and flowing into the event uh, event bridge pattern. And you can have a very complex scenarios, multiple event patterns. Uh, anything is, can be doable, and uh, there isn't. A, dedicated blog and documentation available for type of event patterns that you can use for AWS services. With that, let's get into the demo. Okay, so before uh, uh, showing the demo, let me show you, walk you through each of the components that we have as part of this architecture and uh, how it is configured and what it is doing, and then we'll show the actual hands-on demo of the data sets. So, the pattern of execution based on whether it can be any assert, it can be data source, data set, analysis, or dashboard. The basic mechanism of creating those events and connecting to the Lambda is same. Um, and how you can customize the code, it's totally independent. And you can use set of API calls in the Lambda function to execute those actions. First, starting with the event rule. Under the Amazon event bridge, I have created a rule where my event pattern is 
let me just go one step back. Actually, uh, I've picked the wrong one. So this is the rule that I have set up. So under Amazon Event Bridge, I'm creating the rule where my event pattern is sources AWS QuickSight as my service. And in the detail type, I'm just taking only three actions related to the data set, which are QuickSight data set created, data set updated, and data set deleted. So anytime when my QuickSight source account has any of these actions, automatically this event pattern recognizes this. And here are two targets I have. One is to the CloudWatch group, where all these actions are get logged into, where I can look into them in near real time. And another event I'm configuring is to trigger the Lambda function. So let's take a look at the Lambda function here. So this is my Lambda function where you can see the event bridge acting as a source for the QuickSight dataset event bridge is my function name. Here I have created a very simple function where I'm taking the events and the context from the event, I'm extracting the detail type, which gives me what type of action that is being triggered, the dataset ID that is getting updated or uh, created or deleted, and the account ID from where this is being fired. And um, I'm also getting the source region from the event record. And for this demo, I'm using my target region as US West 2, whereas in the real world, it can be a different regions or it can be different accounts too. But for the demo today, we are using the US West 2 as my target region. And I'm setting up my Botoco client and uh, the user ARN to which I want to grant access to the target assets. So here I have three if conditions. The first one is checking for the data created, where it is describing the source and creating a data set out of it in the target. And the second is data set update. Again, it is describing the data set when this particular action has happened and applying the same changes to the target. Whereas you can see in the second one, I'm not updating any permissions since the data set is already created. And finally, the data set is deleted. If there is an event pattern with this, we are uh, executing the delete API call to delete this from my target account. With that, let's get into the demo. So here, let me go to my source region. You can see on my URL, I'm on currently on US East one. And on the right side, you can see I'm on US West 2. Okay. And currently on the target, there are no data sets. And on my source, I have one data set, which is a flat file. But for the demo today, we are going to use Athena as a source. So I have pre configured a couple of things. One is I have already pre created the data source where you can see here Athena source DB. And on the, my target side, I also have created another Athena uh, source, which is calling Athena target DB, where my Lambda function takes care of when I'm creating a data set in my target through this event bridge action that will automatically update the ARN of the data source that is all handled within the Lambda function. Now, let's get started here. And I will also want to have a CloudWatch logs where I've already pre-configured. Let me show you this event rules again. So here I have a target CloudWatch dataset change that the log actions for this gets recorded into. So I'm going to set that one. So what I'm doing here is in the CloudWatch logs, I'm going to live tile. And in this, I'm applying the filters just to show me any event actions that are being ingested into this particular folder called QuickSight dataset change rule. Let me apply this filter and you can see it has started scanning through. Now, as my first step, let me go here. On the right side, there is currently no data sets are created. And from my source, I'm going to use my Athena source, create a data set. There is only one data set available, edit up preview. And so till this point, it is not created. It is only showing the preview. As soon as when I click save and publish, the data set is now created here. First thing, let's validate the cloud logs. logs. Here you can see the action QuickSight data set is created from the QuickSight from my source account on US East one region. And this is the resource ARN. And also within the details, I have the data set ID where you can see this data set ID where starting with 7E37. And you can see the same is recorded here. Now let's refresh the browser on the right, which is on US West 2. You can see that data set is now created and also with the same ID 
so which will gives you flexibility of uh, understanding which data set is updated on source uh, environment and the same id can be used on the target to create or update actions as well and now this is pointing to its own data source on the target side now as a next step let's try updating this under edit data set i'm going to make a couple of actions now one is on the left i'm going to change my row id field from integer to string and also you can see my order date is being published as a string where i'm going to change this to date type okay so now i have changed these two where on the right you can see the date is still string and the row id is integer now with these changes let me save and publish and the cloudwatch logs you can see there is a new action added the quick set data set is updated now let's refresh the browser on the right on us west 2 region here you can see the changes are applied where the row id is changed to string as well as the order date is updated to date let me do one more update action this time i'm going to add a calculated field so this is to give you a real world example like the constant changes uh, that is being made as part of development in your lower environment like or frequently updating the uh, data set based on the new use cases and uh, how this event bridge tool uh, can help you with real time integration and making the changes applied to all your target accounts like let's say you have like a tens or hundreds of accounts and if we want to apply the same changes across multiple environments at the same shot this will take out all that manual effort of migrating the content manually let me add a calculated field and i am going to call um like something like cost and i'm going to just do a simple calc like a sales plus discount just for the demo purpose i'm adding this field saving this so the cost is added before saving action let me clear this so that we can see the new action getting updated and with this change where you can see this calculated field cost i'm going to save and publish now let's take a look at the cloud watch here you can see the update action is recorded where the detail type is quick set data set updated from my source account from quick site with the resource arl and the data set id okay now let's refresh the browser on us best to right here you can see the calculated field that i created on us east one is now available on us west 2 and we can verify the calculation that you can see the sales plus discount is available so that's very seamless and smooth that instantly whatever the changes i'm making or are getting updated on the target now let's finally validate the last action to delete so in this case so i have a data set on the right and you can see the two data sets i'm going to just delete the data set that is created for this demo from athena and before that i'm going to clear the logs so that i can see the new log being feeded in now let me delete this and delete nice you can see the data set delete action has been recorded here for this quick set event and account and here are the error and information in the data set id now let's see on the right in the us west 2 but you can see that it data set is deleted now so this way you can fully automate for all the asserts like dashboard analysis data sets and another action that you can do from the initial release is folders so if you want to focus only on the asserts that are meant for specific environment or the specific accounts you can create multiple shared folders one for each account and you can keep pushing the changes into that and that way whatever the changes happening only on the specific folder under which are meant for the specific target accounts or environments or the regions you can even have an uh, uh, different multiple event rules each pointing to the specific folder and make apply those changes on the target account